Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very very easy tested box engine. If you do, that's the alternative if you don't want to go search it in the internet for very hard and complicated engines or you don't want to use the display message of the game maker, okay? You see that's very easy and very useful. You can do custom messages and things like that, okay? I'm just going to show you the sprites here I've made. I've made this test box that I'm going to put in the bottom of the screen. Nice. And I made an NPC for us to interact. The, the yellow link right here. And uh, I've made two images for him. The, the, the image 0 don't have nothing in his head. And the image 1 have the space. Because when we press the space we're going to interact with him. Okay, let's do this. I will create a new folder. I'll call it NPC. And I'll create the, the link. No, I'm going to create the object test one first. Okay. And let this object here. I'm now going to create the yellow link. Um, very good. Let's put step event for in. And I want the space to appear above his head only if I got to put this smaller. Only if we close to him. So if distance. Distance to OBJ player. Is smaller than four. What's going to happen? I o open a code here. Image index goes to to one, so the space will be displayed. And if keyboard check it, press it, VK space. We go to create the test box. You can put it anywhere, any X and any Y, that don't matter. And OBJ test 1, okay. I'm going to put an else here for if we're very far of him. And the image going back for the normal image with no space being shown in his head, okay. And another thing, don't forget to put the image speed equals 0. And put some depth equals negative Y to look 3D. Very good. Now let's go to the test box engine. We're going to work with three events here. The step, the create and the draw. We're going to start with the create. Well, we're going to create here three basic variable. No, there are two basic variable. The alt, the string, these are the how can I say the more important you can change it every test box engine like this is going to have them and now the the custom variables I call here test one I want to put three three messages so I got to put test one test two and test three and you need a variable to control the tests so how control let's say change it Output talk equals one, and let's go for the test here. What I have to put is a string, and between the parentheses, the message you want. I'm going to put here, "Hello, wife, something to tell you." I don't know, and in the two, we're going to put string. Fuck you, asshole. Get out. Oh, nice. And in the string, number three, get to put just kidding, bro. Okay. These are the messages that we're going to display. This is the control. And these two are the basics. You can change them now, not now. <laughs> okay. Now let's go to the step event and put the code here. I want to do don't know, I put the talk equals one in the create event. So I want the talk equals one to display the first test. Okay, the test one. So I'm going to put if talk equals one out n. No, out the that is the variable we've made there. 
the basic one that I said right here. Okay. Alt N, we're going to put string copy. In the first space, we put the test we want. In the second, we put one. And the last one, we put the speed. Okay. Now, the speed, we have to put her like this plus and the number you want. That is the speed of the test to be shown. If you put outside every talk we're going to do here, like this, let me show you. Okay, just changing the numbers. If you put outside every one of them, this speed is going to to be used for every one of them. But if you put inside the code, the talk right here, we've made this guy, this speed is going only be used for these guys right here. So I got to put this speed 0 0.5 for the talk one, this speed here 0 0.5 25 for the talk two and for the talk three going to put one okay now let's make the 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 control the key that we're going to press for changing the talk I'll put keyboard check press if you can e space I want the space to change it now you're going to put two things for him so open the code talk plus one so when we press the space the talk one goes to talk two so that will be the master displayed and the speed have to get back to zero okay very easy and for stopping showing the test box we're going to do this if talk well as we can see our last message is the number three so if the talk is bigger three instance destroy okay that's all for him. Now let's go to the draw event. Put some more code. In the draw event, I'm going to put my font settings here. Draw set font global font. The VLine I'm going to put in the top. I don't know how it's going to work. You have to find your own. But not the horizontal line. That we have to put in the left if, if you want the test to be drawn like this, you know, from the left to the right. If you want this to be, you know, growing up in the center and growing up and growing up, you just put center, okay? Now let's go draw the, sp the sprite here for the test, SPR test box. So the image zero, the viewing, X viewing, zero, viewing, Y viewing. I want it in the bottom, so I got to put the Y scale of the home and draw test let me get this coordinates here just going to remove 75 now okay and in the string you just put out mice so that is our test box engine the only thing you have to to oh you know um, change here is the test you're creating, you know, the message, the control, these out and this speed. You, you don't have to work on this. Just if you want to change the speed like this, we've done here. Nice. And another thing, if you want to show the guy who's talking in the test box, you just do like this. I give you a fast example here. I will put two, two test boxes. Wait a second. I don't know why, but my headsets give me annoying sounds here okay and I'll copy the, the NPC I'm going to use now I'm going to stretch it first I'm going to put it like this okay I wa want the yellow guy here to be talking so I'm going back to the test box and the sub image one I'm going to put here I don't know here now nah, very good so Remember, he is in the image one of the test box. So here in the test, in the draw event, let's say, well, I don't know, the first, I'm just going to make this completed, okay? I go into the link here, run right, run left.
where are the desk box? Here she is. Hell. Hell, I just done some shit here. I am too slow. My mouse is horrible. Okay, just going to make something more completed. Let's say this is an extra. Okay, so the image one is the link talking, and the image two is this guy talking. And the image zero, there's nobody talking, okay? So here I'm going to put, for the test one, I'm going to put here. Um, normal, nobody talking. For the test two, I'm going to put high end link, and uh, three, I want the guy to be talking, so I just put get a fuck out, asshole. Nice. So in the draw event, all we have to do here is do something like this. If talk equals one, so we are in the first talk. Okay, I will just put like this. Nobody's talking, so the image is zero. I going to copy that and put two here. And here I'm going to change to one because this is a linky token. And for the last message, the number three, we want the guy to be talking, so I got to put two here. If you want to change the color, you just put font set. Now, draw set color. Okay. You just put draw set color. And between the parentheses, I want the link to be the yellow color. And I want this guy to be the red color. You just put the color before the test, like this. It wasn't so hard. Now let's test it. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the hell guy in the room. <laughs> My only mistake was that. Okay. Let's go for this guy. Space. Normal, nobody talking. Okay, now I'm going to press. Space again. Hi, I am Link. Nice, as you can see, yellow and the link is up in here. Now press space again. Get a fuck call, asshole. Red. <laughs> nice, and he's appearing here. So, I get press space again. As you can see, and you can come here and talk again. Nice. The only problem you have to go for to press space again because I didn't put any restriction. So, it's going to appear again here. Nah, this didn't happen. Very good. But I guess it's going to bug like this. So I'm going to put some restriction here. I'm going to make another variable. I'm going to put global test1 equals true. So when the test1 is created, the global test go to true. Nice. Now I guess I don't have to put this here. How too much page is open by itself. Just remove this of here. I'm going to put this global. Nah, nah, don't need. Put it in the in the NPC right here and create event and you come here and put test one equals false. Nice. So we don't have the test one display in the screen. And the step event you put here. Uh, I'm going to have to make another one. Now, you come in this keyboard, check it, press space, you open a parenthesis and put and test1 equals false. So we can't have the test1 enabled for create another test1, okay? So here you go. 
go now to the OBJ test one and we're going to put global test one equals true nice so when the test is equal to true I'm just going to remove this one here I want this to work for every test so all I have to do is put this for every NPC well if you not understand it this is a restriction so we can't make another test box above the test box that already exists we can only have one test box display in the image nice and here in the test in OBJ test 1 when it's destroyed you just put the test gets back to false now let's see if, if this is bugging okay let me talk with him I am pressing space a lot of times you see there is no bugging okay no more no, okay so everything is okay no glitches anymore you can change the color you can change who's talking here and I going for this get out well you have to put depth for your test for he looks above the screen and I think that was the most easy tutorial till now well I hope you enjoy your seeing this video guys goodbye